Marcella Lee cruising came back to National City briefly for a test ride last year and just last month the City Council voted to bring it back for good tonight. The good times are rolling again in CBS 8's Jenny days on Highland Avenue Ooh. where just a short time ago the last no cruising sign came down Jenny. She's really on Highland Avenue. <laughs> Yes, good evening, a red convertible. We are currently cruising down Highland Avenue in National City in a 1962 Chevy Impala. This is something that has been illegal now for more than 30 years. So many people, like Rabbit here, my great driver, I appreciate you. This is truly a lifestyle, a passion, just a, a, a tight-knit community that can once again do what they love. Some of these cars are plated with real gold. Owners take tremendous pride for their rides. The love for low riding is very apparent in National City. It was this group, the United Low Riders Coalition, that managed to overturn a decades long ban. We did it, and we did it. It's done. We've come a long way, baby. It was like they say that uh, a, a load of bricks off your back, finally. This is for you and the future generations of lowriders. And in true lowrider fashion, keep it family oriented and let's cruise. Yeah. The final cruising prohibited sign was taken down today. For so many, it served as a constant reminder that lowriders were not welcome. Marcos Arellano, my driver for the evening, says it's been his passion for 45 years. You clean your car, you get dressed up and all that, you get your wife, your kids ready, let's go in the car, where are we going? We're cruising, you know, we'll go eat somewhere and then you go out there and you see other families. There are still concerns over blocking businesses and needing more police officers to patrol, but as history was made, the National City Mayor offered support, along with Assembly Member David Alvarez, who says we'll show other cities how to do it right. We want to celebrate our culture, we want to celebrate the cars, and we want to do it in a safe way. In National City, cruising is not a crime. And with your help, and with your help, AB 436 will make sure that everywhere in California, cruising is not a crime. Cruising was made a crime in 1992, citing gang activity and traffic congestion. We dug deep in the News 8 archive. This is what the streets looked like 30 years ago. You guys changed it from these negative stereotypes to one of family, art, community, and love. Yeah, and National City is even taking their support a step further and will actually be sponsoring some cruising events. Those will be happening in the summer with the first big one happening on June 17th in Kimball Park. So let's show them what this thing can do. <laughs> yes, we are live tonight in National City. A lot of support on the streets. Back to you guys. Jenny Day for CBS 8. <laughs> so much fun out there. Thanks so much, Jenny.